in May of 1943, I was drafted into the Army. And the uh, Buffalo Soldier Division and 92nd Infantry Division, which was uh, all black except for the officers, had lost a number of troops and was somewhat decimated. So they needed black troops to replace some of the troops whom had been lost. And within a one week, we found ourselves <laughs> in the 92nd Infantry Division of all places. Welcome to the Army. Welcome to the <laughs> Army. To go in one week from going to school and sleeping in beds and chasing the young ladies on the Hampton campus and everything Uh-oh. to maneuvers in a mud hole in northern Louisiana and Arkansas. It was horrible. And the Buffalo Soldiers, many people know this story and have heard Bob Marley sing about it, but the Buffalo Soldiers basically started in 1866 to sort of help out west, right? Uh, Yes. They fought the Comanche and they fought the Apaches on the western plains, sort of protected the wagon trains that were going through. The Indians had never seen people with curly hair texture and said they look like buffaloes. And the American soldiers heard that and they liked it. So they adopted it as the sort of nickname for the 92nd Infantry Division, and that's basically how it came about. Well, let's fast forward to your experience. Was it scary? Were you frightened? I mean, this is well, we you really, were young. Yes, how old I, were you? I, was, I had just turned 19. Oh, my gosh. It was frightening, but we really did not know what to expect. I, for example, was on the front lines in Italy from... Uh, September 1 through the month of December. And it works upon one psychologically and in other ways. And I got to a point where I just couldn't eat. I couldn't keep food in my stomach. You are subject 24 hours a day to either being shot or wounded from shrapnel or attacked by the German forces, which were tenacious battle-hardened veterans. I personally was never shot, and I was never wounded. I don't know how that happened because I had friends killed all around me. I began to think that the law of averages would catch up with me after four or five months up there, night and day, and uh, somehow I visualized a bullet being made in Berlin with my name on it, (laughs) and I said, oh, this isn't good. My luck will run out. We wouldn't be here today. That's right. Neither one of us. (laughs) (laughs) That's that's true. (laughs) Yeah. Do you find it sort of unusual or uncanny or serendipitous, if you will, (laughs) by living only a mile away from the Charles Young Buffalo Soldier House? I do. To have that monument placed in the national park system, it was unbelievable. It's really been, and it will be, a boon to this area, a tourist attraction, and a historical event that could never be matched by any other means, really. ¶¶ 